in northwestern Montana's Swan Valley, corporate-owned land, until recently, covered every other square mile. These lands have been railroad and industrial timberlands for more than 100 years, 150 years. And so they're checkerboarded throughout with the public land, with the national forest. The federal government gave millions of western acres to private companies to finance railroads. Historically, the lands were used for logging and open to the public. But when it really got problematic was when the, the corporate timber companies began going more into the real estate business and selling the land out of the timber base and into real estate. Beginning more than a decade ago, a real estate boom threatened to carve this valley and others into a web of homes, roads, fences, and other permanent development. Conservationists say that put at risk prime habitat for grizzlies and other wildlife, wetlands, and productive forests, in a valley linking two major wilderness areas. Building lots of high-end homes here, deep in the forest, could block wildlife movement, recreation, and logging, and natural processes such as fire, but a historic conservation buyout has prevented that. The Montana Legacy Project is, at its essence, the purchase of 310,000 acres of former corporate lands and basically knitting this landscape back together and erasing that checkerboard. The Nature Conservancy and Trust for Public Land are buying timber holdings from Plum Creek Timber Company, Montana's largest private landowner. Now in its third and final year, the deal will cost $490 million, the largest single conservation purchase in U.S. history. So for our values as a conservation organization, this is globally significant work. The groups are selling 112,000 of those acres to the U.S. Forest Service for $250 million to make the land public and erase the checkerboard. It'll help preserve the valley, more or less a natural state. And I think if it's administered properly, I think there will be work for people, for the loggers, if it's for the thinning of the forest. And uh, I think it'll be just self-productive. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.